Hi friends, this is Melissa the Stamp Doc. Today I want to share with you a little bit more about the Give It a Whirl dies from Stampin' Up! So if you've already watched my previous video, um, I showed several samples. I've actually done two videos. So one is a Facebook Live replay and one is an introduction to the Give It a World Dies. I'll link um, one of those at the end of the video and I'll link the other one in the description below if you want to watch those. And I would recommend it so that you can see really how these dies worked. But I've gotten some concerns about the line that shows up when you cut the front panel piece. So this really shows up more when you just cut that piece alone and you don't put one of the inserts in there. So I'm gonna pull this up so you can see, and you can see that faint line. So again, it shows up more when you don't put the insert and that hole only punches if you don't run it through with the insert. If you do put the insert for the hole there, um, that hole doesn't generally show up. So let me just show you some of the cards I showed in the previous video so you can see what I'm talking about. And that line, like I said, it's pretty faint, but you can see it like right here. So um, just very slight. And again, I mean, it's not super, you know, if you're looking at the card, normally you're not going to see that. But someone that is a stamper, if you're going to send this to somebody that knows a little too much about stamping, they might notice it. So this one here, you can kind of see just that slight impression right there. Um, but again, pretty slight. I mean, I'm really having to get a close up on that for you to see it. And then here's the one that was with the Turtle Friends. And again, you can see that line. So I decided to come up with some creative ways for you to be able to hide that or camouflage it a little bit more than what I even did on these cards so that you know, you've know you got some more tools. So I'm gonna be sharing five new card samples with you um, that will help you hide that line. Now, if you just want to um, not even mess with that at all, you can create a template with this. So the measurements of that front panel piece are three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And once you've cut that out, you can mark the hole there and you can even mark the little notch and trace those out and cut those out yourself. So that's a great template to have. And then I showed this in the Facebook Live. I'm gonna move these out of the way, but I did some wheel templates also so that you know where to stamp your images uh, depending on which type of opening you did. So I just did those and I just keep those with my um, die set so that I've got that ready to go. So creating templates is a great way to make sure that your stamping goes much faster. And once you've done that, you know, you don't really have to do that again. So let me share some of these new samples with you and I'll show you what I did. So this first one is from the stamp set Oh Snap. And I did cut this piece down just a bit so I could fit the alligator in over there. And because I did a very busy pattern paper, and also I've got the little alligator, you really don't see that line very much at all. So I can see a slight impression when I look really close, but it's not easy to see. Oh look, I think I got some glue behind here. Okay, Oop, must have gotten a glue dot back there. But yeah, when you turn this, it says, hello friend. You crock my world and we've got a little frog in there and some little fishies. So just a really fun card. Now, if you love this stamp set, I will tell you it is going away at the end of June. So make sure you order it now if this is something that you want. Okay, so my next one is with the Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. And the Hey Chick will be going away again. Hey Birthday Chick's going to stick around. And I used the host paper, the Pattern Party um, Host Designer Series paper for the background. Again, this one's really simple. I just added a few stamped images. And what I did was just put my chickens up there. So you really don't see that line at all. So using a pattern paper or even adding an accent right there will do that for you. will really hide that line for you. So there is that one. This one's one of my favorites. Um, this one is with the Measure of Love stamp set. 
And this is a new one from the annual catalog. And I just love putting this scale right up over that because it really just draws your eye to that. So it says, our friendship tips the scale. And then we've got sweet friend and love you more. So you've got this cute little scale and that's covering up your line. So a great way to camouflage that. The next one is from the Peekaboo Farm stamp set. Now this one I can't say that I camouflage quite as well. I colored this area, I stamped it, and then colored it with some Stampin' Blends. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, you can still see a little bit of that, and I might add some flowers or something to that, but I really wanted to keep the card pretty simple. But as you turn this, you get different animals peeking up from that fence. So this is a really fun little card. I just, I thought this was adorable. So little says, hello there. So just a fun, fun little, give it a wheel cart. And then we have this one right here. This one's what? What's Cooking? I think is the name of the stamp set. Again, I used kind of a bold pattern paper behind there. And you really don't notice that line at all. Some stamped and die cut images. And then as we put this around, it says, What's Cooking? And as I turn that around, we've got some celery, mushroom, and I think tomato. And then some little chef hats. And our little greeting here says, sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. So those are just absolutely adorable. So again, here's some other ideas for how to camouflage that line if you don't like that look. So there's lots of ways to do that. And I will have close-ups of all of these on my blog for you to see. So just visit the stampdoc.com if you'd like to see more of those. There is a search bar, so if you're watching this video much later, um, just type in the search, give it a whirl, and those cards should come up. Like I said, there's several posts and a couple of videos on these, so hopefully you'll find those helpful. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.